Number 11 then from the 2019 Higher Maths Paper 1. Four marks for a definite integral. Not just an integral, a trig integral. Not just a trig integral, it's a function of a function. And it's got radians, which it has to have anyway for integration and differentiation. So, take it a bit at a time. First of all, it's going to be cos, no matter what it was, cos goes back to sine. So integrating that just gives you sine of 3x minus pi upon 6. Now, it was a function of a linear function, which is the only type you know how to do it higher. And if you've got that, then you have to do the opposite of differentiating, which is to divide by its inner derivative. The inner derivative is 3, so it'll be one third of that. That's what you're going to evaluate from 0 to pi upon 9. Now you start to do it. Notice that third, you could take that out of it. You could keep it in if you like, but I'm going to take it out. Because it's going to be a third of this at that value, and a third of it at that value. So it's a third of sine when x is pi upon 9. Maybe I'll put the, the different bits in just now. So it's 3 times pi upon 9. I think to save space, I'll just go immediately going with pi upon 3. Minus a third of, but the third's out there, sine. This time it's going to be 0 minus that. I'll just put it in. 0 minus pi upon 6. Looking a bit scary, isn't it? It's not actually that bad because a third minus a sixth is a sixth. So that's just sine pi upon six. Now that's sine of negative pi upon six. And the sine of negative angle is equal to the negative, the sine of the positive value. So that means you've actually got minus minuses plus another sine pi upon six. The sine curve looks like this on one side and of course the same in the other. Whatever value you've got there, the corresponding one is the same height, but the opposite sign. I'll write it here again. The sign of, I'll just put it down this way, the sign of a negative angle is equal to the negative of the sign of the angle. That's why it pops out and makes that a plus. Well, that just means you've got two of these then. So you've got two thirds of sine pi upon six, which you know to be 30, and hopefully you remember the sine of 30 is a half, so the final answer is one third.